Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is a, going to be a general energy reading for Thursday, August 1st, 2019. We have made it to August, y'all. But also, summer is almost over. But we're not going to talk about that. We're not going to get into that. We're just going to enjoy the rest of the time that we have. Yes? That's what we're going to focus on. <laughs> okay. Please keep in mind this is a general reading, all right? So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if you'd like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the in information is in the description box below. Also, keep in mind that time is an, is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is dated for August 1st, it doesn't mean it has to be resonate on August 1st. It can resonate at any time for you, whenever the message resonates, especially if you're watching it after August 1st and it resonates. Okay. That, that just means that that's the message for you at that time. All right, kids, getting into your pre-shuffle energies here. Um, it's really quite self-explanatory. It really is. You have, I was just pulling the energies for the collective. The first thing that came out was the hermit in reverse. And then at right after that, the king of pentacles in reverse. Okay, and then I kept going and a whole, like a chunk, another chunk fell out. It's the Seven of Wands, the Chariot, and the Queen of Wands, all with their backs turned. The Knight of Swords is in reverse. Everything else is upright, okay? This is really quite self-explanatory. And it's funny because I looked at this and then I saw, oh, also, well, I'll get to that in a second. I looked at this and then I saw what came out the first time. I was like, okay. And then the second batch came out and I was like, good God, really? And I sat here for a few seconds just trying to like see if maybe I could get something, maybe there was something else hidden in this, but it's not, <laughs> okay? It's really not. And then you have overall energy. You have the seven of pentacles in reverse with none other than the nine of swords on the other side all right well so why is this self-explanatory you say <laughs> eric like i don't know why this is self-explanatory why don't you explain it to me okay fine i will you have the king of pentacles in reverse with, with the hermit in reverse masculine energy that is not doing their soul searching that is not becoming self-aware that is way more focused on the physical that is I'm hearing entrepreneurship sure you might be an entrepreneur but it might be that either you are drowning yourself in work to keep yourself from like this really kind of feels like someone that's really keeping themselves busy in order to stay distracted not have to look within not have to become self-aware and as a result, you have a feminine energy that is riding off into the sunset without a care in the world. And she is not looking back. She just isn't. And she doesn't want to communicate about it either. Or with this Knight of Swords in reverse, she's not going to fight with you. She's not going to argue with you. She's just moving on. No if ands, or buts about it. And the thing that I like about this card, this side of the chariot, is you see how that path behind the 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 person in the in the in the cart, in the chariot, it's like it's dissolving as they move forward, maybe as if it was never there to begin with, or as the path just creates itself as you move forward. You see here on this side of the card, it looks like that path is part of the terrain. But then when you look again, you see that the part of that part of the terrain is actually an illusion or if it's not an illusion it's just you're creating it as you move which is indicative of you creating your own reality your own destiny even being in charge ready to go and then okay so then you get into these overall energies here you have the seven of pentacles in reverse Either a lesson has not been learned, a checkpoint has not been reached, or has been the energies or the, the opportunity of a checkpoint has been circumvented, is what I'm kind of hearing. Um, no longer willing to invest. This is a situation, this feels like a situation in which um, someone has decided not to continue investing here. 
not to continue with this crop, not to continue with this harvest, to go in a completely different direction. And it just feels like leave this, whatever the Seven of Pentacles represents for you, whatever you were building, whatever you were growing, um, completely leave it behind. Yeah. Uh, now, there's also something else that I'm getting here. If you can see, you see the look on that guy's face? I don't know if you can see it, but it looks kind of distraught. Let me see if you can see it better if I turn it right side up. Can you see? He looks distraught. Like, just not happy with it. And I really feel like it's whoever this King of Pentacles energy is because then also you have this Nine of Swords and I really do not feel like it's the, 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 the Queen of Wands here that's moving on, riding off into the sunset, not looking back and not wanting to communicate or fight about it or fight for it or argue about it or anything. It does not feel like she's in that energy. It feels like it's the masculine that's in that energy. It's almost as if with this, with this Seven of Pentacles here, this masculine energy, whether this is a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. We're just talking about energy, not gender. It feels like maybe at this point, the, this, whoever this King of Pentacles is kind of recognizes or realizes uh, where they missed a shot, where they missed an opportunity, where they didn't follow through with the plan or something like that. And so now there's the anxiety, the fear, the despair. And that could really be mostly because they recognize how much self-awareness they need to cultivate, how much self-awareness they need to achieve, how much soul seeking, soul, soul, soul seeking, soul searching uh, that they need to do. Potentially, maybe even to see why this has worked out the way it has. Maybe why it hasn't worked out the way they had planned or had hoped. I feel like this individual here um, that's represented by the King of Pentacles might have thought that they didn't really need to do any soul searching. They could just take a hand, keep a handle on the physical, the Pentacles aspect, the 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 money the finances the, the 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 physical possessions the the career whatnot whatever all the physical stuff and that they didn't have to worry about any of the spiritual hoopla and now all of a sudden the queen of wands is riding off to the sun off into the sunset without your ass and you're like what the fuck do i do now it's unfortunate but I guess you could say it's part of the plan, isn't it? I mean, the Spirit's kind of saying to me, yeah, it's actually, it's part of the plan. Part of the grand design. Now, not to say that it had to happen this way. Maybe you could have actually said, hmm, let me do a little soul searching. Let me come, become a little self-aware. And then you could have maybe circumvented this part of the journey. But Spirit's always got a backup plan. There's always a plan B through Z probably even characters that aren't even in the human alphabet. You know what I mean? Like that, it's it, the, the, the wisdom of the universe is vast. So either way, everything is going all going to work out as it is meant to or as it needs to. I'm going to say as it needs to, because in some cases it was meant to be a certain, a certain result and yet it may not turn out to be that way, but that also was kind of expected. Why? Because we do have free will. So it's not like this is foreign. It's not like, holy shit, we didn't expect this at all. No, it's not even, not even close to that. But from a conscious point of view, someone is like, oh God, oh God. Oh gosh, and the Queen of Wands is just like, yep, bye. See, now the reason why I sat here and was like, come on, we've got to, there's, there's got to be something else to this is because this narrative has been going for so long. And I guess, all right, all right, cool. Spirit's saying to me, yeah, well, Eric, there are waves of people going through this at different times. I mean, every, not everybody's on the same timeline. And you as a reader, you're going to be connecting with these things 
at various times throughout your career. So you just got to <laughs> humble yourself and just sit down and take the message when it's needed. Okay, you're right. You're right. So with all of that said, I actually want to do a reading. I want to guide this reading specifically from this King of Pentacles point of view. And I'm trying to decide whether I need to leave. You don't need to leave the card out. All right. Um, I'm going to. I'm going to. I want to, I, want to, I want to get some advice. I want to get, and this is not, and I'm not doing this for the feminine that's riding away off into the sunset to look into what this guy is going through, this individual is going through. I want to do this for this King of Pentacles, all right, to give you some sort of clarity if, in fact, you are watching. Because, yes, I do recognize that it's mostly the feminine here that, that watches, but also we do have some masculines here. If you are resonating with this, then I want to get you some advice. I want to get some clarity in here for you. Now, there is a message for the feminine before we get started because we have the Ace of Pentacles. Now we have the Empress with the Wheel of Fortune and the Hierophant in reverse. So the Hierophant in reverse is talking about the Empress going against the grain, not following the typical order any longer, all right? creating her own reality, creating her own destiny with the Wheel of Fortune. This is the normal side, I guess you could say. This is the, the, the other side of the Wheel of Fortune, and it's the magician is on here. So you're literally changing your destiny, looking off into the, into the field of potential and saying, what can I create for myself? Ace of Pentacles, okay? That's for the feminine. Hanged man in reverse with the star upright. Hanged man in reverse, star upright, okay, for this feminine energy. Um, coming out of a cycle of enlightenment, coming out of us, maybe a cycle of stagnancy. Sure, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And with the star in reverse here, um, there, I don't, you couldn't see it. Oh, yep, the Empress is back on the bottom of the deck. You, I don't know if you saw it, but there was like a, an appar a, apparition or like a figure standing in front of the woman in the star, um, a male figure. And I'm kind of seeing that as the feminine manifesting a masculine energy and then my uh, to be like some sort of counterpart for her and then the next card that wanted to show itself is the two of cups okay it's the dark darker side it's the nighttime scene whereas it's the, it's the other side is the daytime scene but the nighttime scene here is saying that um it's not it's not it hasn't materialized yet it hasn't manifested yet it's still in the works from the universe all right but that's what's going on with the feminine. All right, so let's talk to, let's talk to the masculine here, this King of Pentacles. I want to get a reading for you to get, understand your situation further, all right? Because it's, it's really time that we start talking to both. <laughs> We're not just talking to the feminine here. We've got to be talking to the masculine too. And I'm starting to put together an idea for that, but we'll talk about that later on, all right? So let's get started here. So um, normally I would just do a collective open reading, but today we're going to direct this as at the masculine energies that we're talking to here from the pre-shuffle. So let's see what we've got. Hi spirit, please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, August 1st, 2019. But also a special request. Please help us understand and gain some clarity in terms of the masculine energies that we are channeling for that are having trouble doing their soul searching, their inner work, and developing a sense of self-awareness outside of the physical representation, the physical manifestation, their physical incarnation, and maybe even what, um, I don't know, maybe even what society has deemed them necessary to be. There we go.
Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, so I'm gonna give this three shuffles, um, but already I'm seeing green. Uh, this has everything to do with a heart chakra activation. So for some of you masculines who are in this situation or who are in this position, you are in the process of having a heart chakra activation. And actually what I'm seeing is, you, is in terms of your chakra systems, the, the root, the sacral, and the solar plexus are in good standing. But now you're starting to reach your heart. And that's where self-awareness is coming into play. But for some of you, you're so strongly rooted in your masculine energy or your solar plexus energy, your ego is getting in, that your ego is getting in the way and is kind of not necessarily allowing you to really enter into your heart chamber um, for a few reasons. One, basically your ego, will, ego would lose control eventually and it doesn't want that. Some of you have some very, very, very strong egos that are really putting up a fight that are very much what I'm, wow, this is interesting. These, those of you with the super strong egos are, have this connection with the collective that is like feeding it. And it doesn't wanna lose that connection. It doesn't wanna lose that source of energy. It doesn't wanna lose that sense of control because it does feel like in control, but there's like, I, this is so crazy that I'm seeing it this way, but there's like a larger entity that's feeding your egos, that's like basically making it think that it's in control, but it's really not because that larger entity that is feeding your ego is actually the one in control. So it's crazy, but you're not even necessarily in full control of your ego either. It's, it's like you're connected to the matrix. Now, the other reason why your ego is putting up such a fight is because it looks, it feels like there are some things that would need to come to awareness that are going to be very difficult to handle, which we're all, we've all been through that. So that's no surprise. Okay. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to get this, I'm going to shuffle this now, but there's definitely a heart chakra activation going on for you guys. Best message, please, spirit guidance. How do we handle this for these masculine energies? Okay. Oh, well, damn. There's that queen of wands again. Holy, holy moly. You do have the six of cups. And you have the two of cups. It's the same side, too. Same side in the queen of wands, also. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but I was, like, turning the cards around and shuffling. You have the five of cups in reverse, but then you have the ace of wands. And the ace of wands is upright. All right, I'm not gonna shuffle, I'm not gonna pull any more from this deck. I'm just gonna talk about what's here and then we'll get some more understanding with the clarity, clarification section. But first and foremost, the overall energy masculines or king of pentacles here is speaking to the fact that it's like you're, you're resisting some sort of death and rebirth with the five of cups in reverse now with this side of the five of cups you were looking at this guy's back and you can see that there's a rose here whereas oh no not on this card it's on the three of swords actually oh look looky here and then underneath that five of cups there's the hermit again in reverse okay but um it's in the Three of Swords where there's a rose that's trampled, right? But then in the Five of Swords here, you have that chance for rebirth once you go through your 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 mourning process, the grief, the grieving, yes. And you find that yes, those three cups may be spilled, but you still have two left. But I feel like you're resisting that. It also kind of feels, feels like you're doing everything you can to keep those three cups from spilling over. Even though you know that what is represented by those three cups or what is in those three cups is toxic or 
not healthy, not beneficial for you. And yet, on the other side, you have the Ace of Wands. So this is that energy in which I feel like you started to realize that, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, I gotta do some, I gotta get self-aware, <laughs> the hermit. It's that spark, it's that realization. I, I, I'm gonna be honest with you, this side of the, of the Ace of Wands kinda does feel like a tower moment to me. This is like a minor arcana version of the tower, in my opinion. I mean, it's a sudden shock of inspiration. It's so shocking that, look, it's setting that tree on fire. Burning something down. And here, this is, with the Ace of Wands, this is being, this is influenced towards going towards a new direction. Now, getting into the rest of this, you have the Two of Cups again, which came out for the feminine. And here's the feminine again with the, with the Queen of Wands in reverse. But then you have the Six of Cups. And the way this is described in the book, in this side of the card, you have these two, they've met, homegirl has taken a dip, <laughs> which I find to be so funny. Like, why is she swimming? Anyway, <laughs> why is she swimming in the channel? I don't, whatever. But these two have, have met, they're kind of interested in, in each other, blah, blah, blah. On this side of the card, Pops is like, yo, chica, it's time to come home because now these two have gotten lost. <laughs> I wanted to say lost in the sauce, but <laughs> but more like they've just got gotten lost in like the passion and whatnot, whatever, you know. It's a sense there's a sense of needing to come back to reality with this side of the six of cups. Ugh. So masculines, I kind of feel like what's going on here for you is you've kind of gotten lost in the illusion of, ooh, ooh, wow. You've gotten lost in the illusion of the Maya. You've gotten lost in the illusion of the three-dimensional world. Now, it is much easier for you as a masculine-oriented energy to become lost <laughs> in the sauce I don't mean it. I don't mean you have a drinking problem. <laughs> Spirit's just being funny. <laughs> but it's kind of easier for you to get lost in the physical manifestation because you as a masculine energy are very much more physically oriented. Just like it is easier for the feminine to get lost in the ethers, right? And we're all here trying to say feminine, it's time for you to ground yourself. Well, masculine, it's time for you to rise up a little bit. Get acquainted with the ethers. All right, and the way that you do that now, I see where I now I see what the two of two of cups means for you. The way that you do that is you start to integrate your masculine with your feminine energy, and it and and the the reason why the two of cups has come out in this way. Number one, the two of cups can mean a soulmate or a relationship bond, sure, but in my opinion, it can also symbolize the union of masculine and feminine energy within. All right, and having and expressing that in the physical in the physical body or in the physical incarnation of your life, manifestation of your life. And it's coming out as this nighttime scene because this starts from the internal first and then it goes out into the external. But you've got to cultivate this on the internal. Do you see masculine, all of the energies that represent you here, including this five of cups, it's all nighttime scenes. And to me, that's speaking to the internal reality, your inner work, your soul searching, your um, awakening, your inner self-awareness, even this Ace of Wands is a nighttime scene. The internal versus the external. Okay? You could even see the King of Pentacles as saying to you, face your inner self. Because the King of Pentacles is facing you here. It's the nighttime scene, but he's facing you, but he's reversed. So it it's almost even feels like you don't really know yourself, who you truly are, who you're truly meant to be, maybe even who you really want to be outside of this physical representation. 
who you've grown into, who you've become. And e e I'm not even going to say that you're not well manifested because in terms of what you have in front of you, what you have on your plate, you probably are very well manifested. That doesn't mean it's authentic to you. It kind of could just mean that you've just been going with the flow, letting people tell you who to be, where to go, how to show up, and all that shit, instead of really deciding that for yourself. And let me tell you, this Queen of Wands energy is not going to have that. Absolutely not. It would be hypocritical for her to have a partner that is so easily swayed by public opinion when she's not. And everything she stands for goes against that because she is an individual and she wants the people in her lives to be individuals as well. Or she wants the people in her life, excuse me, to be individuals as well. So part of the reason why some of these individuals, these feminines have walked away is because they recognize that in some cases you're kind of betraying yourself. Which means that if you could betray yourself, you could definitely betray her. Okay. Woo-wee! That's some tea for you, honey. <laughs> All right, masculines. So, let's get into some clarification here for you. And keep in mind, I, I do feel compelled to say this again. Feminines, y'all need to just take a little bit of back bit of a back seat right now like grab your popcorn and go to the back of the theater and just kiki key key all you want all right we're talking to the masculines today okay <laughs> oh goodness and masculine this is all with love this is all with love there is no judgment here because again like i said in the beginning this is part of the journey this is the part this is part of the element of free will that the universe has taken into account that has accounted for, the universe has accounted for. We, as the individuals that wrote these contracts here, may not have been wise enough, aware enough to take these things into account. That's why when we get here, it tends to be such a shock when things com go completely left. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. Spirit is saying, the universe is saying, it's all gonna work out in the end, you guys. You just gotta stay patient with yourselves and with the other people around you, okay? All right, so one more shuffle, and then I'm just going to get some clarity for you here. Just some clarity for you. All right, guys, let me move this down a little bit. All right, kids, here we go. Just some clarity, please, spirit. Clarity of direction. What do we do? Well, well, well. My my okay that's enough my what's this the knight of cups there this this is that heart chakra energy i was picking up on all right cleansing hearing cleansing healing sharing hearing okay some of you need to hear your own selves out you need to listen to your inner voice some of you have may have been struggling to listen to your own inner self because of fear of what might come up and there's like a, maybe this might be your inner child, or I'm just perceiving a voice. There's a voice within you that is screaming at the top of its lungs to be heard. To no avail. Because the ego has got like a chokehold on it. Oof. Oof. That's damn near sickening. Overall energy, masculines, you've got the fool. There is a new start coming. You've got to take a leap of faith. But what else do you have? This, oh my God, this is damn near half the deck, Spirit. And they said, this landed on the table. They said, Eric, take all of it. Oh my God, are you serious? <laughs> I'm no stranger to this. If you guys have been watching Morning Coffee, you know. There are some of you out there that, are, that, that, that know exactly what I'm talking about. The, the, when the cards would just, I'd get it to the clarification section and the cards would just dump out on the table. <laughs> all right, here we go. Here we go, masculines. We've got the chariot, the emperor, the devil, the Five of Cups again, the Four of Cups, Page of Wands, Star, the Two of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, the Empress, the Wheel of Fortune, Death, and the motherfucking Tower. Looky here. You've got your counterpart, Masculines. You are here with the, chair, with, with the Emperor. She 
or he, it doesn't matter, it's, it's the energy, all right? You're here as the emperor, the feminine is here as the empress, okay? Wow. All right. Yo, yo, grab some popcorn, because <laughs> this is going to be a little bit of an extended reading. We're already at 30 minutes. But the messages, they need to come through. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through this layer by layer, okay? We're going to start with the top layer. The top layer being the chariot, the emperor, the devil, and the five of cups. The devil is really playing you right now, yo. Yo, homie, straight up, the devil is playing your ass playing your ass because the devil knows that you are the masculine energy you are the master of your domain just like the feminine is the is the master of her own domain right but the devil's got a chokehold on you basically he's got you by the balls and is playing on this five of cups energy this this he's playing with your emotions he's pulling he's pulling on your emotions First of all, the devil knows that you don't like to be emotional. So that's, that's point one. But then point two, he's pulling on certain strings that are just the most emotional for you. And it's, and it's stopping you dead in your tracks. And it's making you bolster your ego that much more so you can hide your emotions. Do you see the vicious game that that is? The, the, self, the self perpetuating cycle that the devil has got going? You've got to break these chains. And the way that you do that is that you allow whatever needs to spill out to spill out. Because it's toxic. And it's keeping this cycle going. It's keeping you from moving forward with the chariot energy. You see the devil is standing right in front of you. Blocking you with this five of cups energy. The fear of missing, of losing out, of missing something. Of leaving something. Then you have the Four of Pentacles, the Knight, I'm sorry, not the Knight, the Page of Wands, the Star, and the Two of Wands. You need to let go. And you need to start rediscovering yourself and going through that healing process, reconnecting with your dreams, reconnecting with your desires, reconnecting with your soul mission and making a decision. You need to make a decision to go in a new direction. But you can only make that decision once you have gone through that self-realization process with the hermit energy, which did not come back out, but it came out in the form of the Page of Wands. You could definitely see the Page of Wands in this case, in my opinion, you could see the Page of Wands as a minor arcana version of the hermit because it's self-awareness. Redefi redefining yourself even, okay? Now, I will absolutely say that the feminine is a huge influence here. You could even say that it's the feminine that has catalyzed this. Why? Because she loves you. Queen of Pentacles. And I say she loves you because the Queen of Pentacles is the motherly aspect of the Empress. The Queen of Pentacles is the aspect of the Empress that would be pregnant. The Queen of, the, I'm sorry, the Empress is the, the, the Queen of all Queens. She is the combination of the Queen of Pentacles, Cups, Swords, and Wands. Whereas the Emperor is the King of all Kings. He is the combination of the, of the King of Pentacles, Cups, swords and wands as well. Now, for some of you, specifically masculines out there, for some of you, you have issues with your mother that need to be healed, that are directly, that are directly affecting your relationship with this divine feminine counterpart. But still, even still, the empress energy or this counterpart of yours is influencing this healing. Why? Because she loves you, but she is not gonna put up with your shit. Queen of Pentacles. As long as you pull your weight, it doesn't matter how many times you fail. If you are making an effort to change, to see things through, to see a new perspective, to learn, to grow, to do better the next time, even if you fail the next time, to do your best to do, to try at least attempt to do better. 
as long as you were doing that, that Queen of Pentacles is by your side. But it seems that you haven't been. And this representation of the divine feminine energy is not going to enable you. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no. She is not going to enable you. Now, well, and then, then you have the tower. And you also have death with the Wheel of Fortune. It's, it's, I mean, this is literally the, the big, massive change that's needed. Now, for some of you that do have issues with your mother, your mother was abusive. Maybe even still is. And this representation of the divine feminine energy is not going to abuse you. But there are reactions that you have had because you got triggered. And even though this divine feminine energy loves you, she's not going to sit around and allow you to abuse her in return. Which might be the element that you think would bring that that you that that you might consciously or yeah, mm, no, I'll say subconsciously you might be looking for. Again, she's not going to take your shit. I mean, take it as it resonates. Even you, you may not have. Um, issues with your mother but you may have control issues dominance issues and she's not going to let you steamroll over her either this needs to be a balanced situation okay you two are equals just because you're the masculine doesn't mean you get to control everything okay you two are equals you are meant to be equals you're also meant to have your own lives, be in your own emperor, empress energies respectively on your own without the input of the other. And then you come together and combine your worlds. You are not meant to be codependent on each other. You are meant to be dependent on your own selves. And then you can share a life together. And this is the process of getting there. The feminine from what we could tell from the beginning of the reading is very well, very much on her way towards that. It's now time for the masculine to get more acquainted with the ether, with the spiritual realms, with his feminine side. Because it's, it's the connection between the masculine and feminine that the feminine individuals have found that is allowing them to move forward and not look back. Because now they are taking action on what's right for them. Now it's time for the masculines to get there. At least this could be on a grand collective scale or it could just be, you know, in terms of whomever I'm channeling for. You could see this as waves, uh, whatever. I, I'm not getting into, into all that. If it resonates with you, then it resonates with you. Take it. I don't need all the other cl d d definitions, <laughs> okay? It's just going to get confusing. Overall, though, this is good. This is good. I don't, I don't want you guys to think this isn't good. It is good because ultimately the job is getting done. No matter how many detours you need to take or how the universe may need to drag you kicking and screaming into this. <laughs> you know what I mean? And masculines don't feel bad about that because the feminine went through that too. The, the, the universe had to drag us through the mud also. The universe had to take us, like, I, I, yo, kicking and screaming, okay? The feminine didn't just jump into this all willy-nilly and just be like, oh, yay, enlightenment, ascension, woo, ha, ha, ha. No, honey, no. No. <laughs> no, so please don't feel bad. Please don't feel like you're weak, like you're, you're inadequate, like you're being a bitch, like you're being a little baby, like me, 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 stop crying. No, 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 no. It ain't even like that, okay? It ain't even like that. This shit ain't easy. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, oh never mind. Um, well, no, I do want to say, I, I just remembered... I've been using, this is like a, so this is a total sidebar and many of you aren't even, people, a lot of people have already clicked off by now, but like whatever. I just want to mention this deck, the Tarot Illuminati, this is not by Ciro Marchetti. I'm such an idiot. This is, this is 
one of the authors of this is Eric C. Dunn, and another there's another the the illustrator. I know I don't remember her name, and I am so I apologize. I have been misspeaking on this deck. This the Tarot Illuminati, and then the um, the sister deck or the companion deck, the Tarot Apocalypsis. Yes, these are both by Eric C. Dunn, not Ciro Marchetti. Sorry, I just had to clear that up. I felt like such an idiot when I rec when I realized that yesterday, but whatever. Okay. <laughs> All right, back to the reading at hand. And we're just going to get a closing message from the Crystal Mandala deck. Mandala. Crystal Mandala. Oh, my God. Whatever, Eric. <laughs> All right. Closing message, please. Spirit. Oracle guidance for the masculines here. The masculines that are really going through their ascension process. Let's see. Closing message here, please. Spirit for the masculines in this reading. Closing message, please. Closing message, please. Oh, oh, I love that. There's that green energy that I was seeing, the heart chakra energy. Archangel Raphael to the motherfucking rescue, y'all. Archangel Raphael and Malachite. Grace for the grand gesture. What's that grand gesture? This leap of faith moving in a new direction. Opening a can of worms. Three of wands. Yep. Three of wands is underneath the fool. On the right path. This is part of your journey, masculines. This is part of why you came here. Part of why we all came here. Oh, God. It's so crazy that this is coming through right now. <sighs> all right. Um, just, I just recognized a connection within my life. I was thinking about certain things yesterday and now this is coming out. Like I was on a certain thought process yesterday that had kind of went through, kind of carried me through the whole day that just kept coming through and I was just basically watching the story happen in my head and now this is coming out and I just, I just recognized a strong connection to it. Wow, okay. Grace for the grand gesture. We bring you the gift of grace for the grand gesture. Although there are times when even the smallest act, such as choosing to think a positive thought, is enough to transform your world, there also comes a time for the leap of faith, the grand gesture of unconditional trust that will free you from the past and empower the universe to gift you with a new future. The grand gesture is the big step, the willingness to say to the universe, I trust you and I know it's time for life as I have known it to give way for a bigger, bolder experience and I am willing to allow you to lead me into it. You then make an offering which confirms your declaration and empowers the universe to reward the faith you have demonstrated. The grand gesture cannot be forced. If it comes from a place of quote should or uncertainty, then you are not ready. The grand gesture must be unconditional. It must be something you offer, not for what you can get in return, although the rewards will be rich, but because you are willing to offer something of yourself in service to love. When it comes from this place, the grand gesture is a trigger for divine grace and expresses itself in your life in an entirely new way, surpassing all expectations and showering you with blessings. So with that said, masculines, no one, no one, is trying to rush you. And if you have a feminine energy in your ear that's saying, come on, get to it already, then you need to just shut her out. Because this is not about her and it's not about her timing. This is about you and your timing. So you're not, you don't need to be doing anything because you should. You need to do it because you want to do it, because you're ready to do it, because the time is right. And if you're watching, if you've watched this reading through and through and you resonate with this, then you're already on your way here. Because this is what is in, this is what's happening. This is where this is how the energy is flowing for you. All right? But no one should be rushing anyone into this process ever. The universe might give you a, a nice nudge, a nice push, but that's different. Because the universe is looking at this, is approaching this from a different point of view, a much higher point of view. It could even be your higher self that's saying, all right, it's time. It's, we're ready. I don't want to. I don't want to. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Yes, you are ready. Come on. Let's go. All right. 44, 44 on the counter. 
All right, I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, again, if you'd like a look at your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All the information is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.